because Al Horford is a champion tonight and here with us. Congratulations. You brought your son Ian. What an incredible moment this must be for you. After all this time, all the talk about waiting for this moment, what's it like? Man, glory, glory to the Lord, man. I, I, I can't believe it. I, I was telling you guys before we started, I, I can't believe it. it doesn't seem real to me. Um, I mean, you, I know you've lived it, but I just can't. I can't process it. You know, it, it's an unbelievable feeling for me. So many years, so many battles, so many fights. Um, and being in this position, you know, I, I'm sitting here right now, but it, it doesn't seem real. What was it about this team that gets it done? Man, I think it was the, the commitment, man, coming into the season, guys understanding that we we had a special group and that we needed to make sacrifices. Everybody had to sacrifice here to get to where we wanted to. Uh, last year against Miami, that was a heartbreak for us. They they taught us such a lesson, and I, it, I feel like it made us better as a group and as a team, and we understood that we needed to play better. We needed to play team ball, and from day one in training camp, that's what was preached by Joe, and we followed it along, and we were able to do it, but those painful losses, I feel like, helped us get to this position. I played with you almost 15 years ago, and you were absolutely one of my favorite teammates, like one of the most genuine, pure people. So when I read about you guys having a meeting to start the season, it was six of you guys, right? And like, okay, all six can't start. Mm -hmm. It didn't shock me at all that you would sacrifice and say, you know what, I'll come off the bench. When did you know personally this group was different and this group was special? Like, you know what, this group can do it. Yeah, man, that, that, that first training camp practice, mm -hmm. Drew came in, man, Drew Holiday can't say enough about him uh, just a proven guy just a guy that just a winner um, doesn't care about anything else but to win and play the right way and him coming in here he changed everything, everything for yes, us yeah. and for me it was like man um, I'm lucky to play with a guy like that and I was like I have to make this sacrifice and I'm gonna do the best that I can because all I care about you were my teammate like you said you know all I care about is winning that's it yes. I just want to impact the game I want to impact winning and whatever I can do from whatever position I'm going to try to do my best and we talk about impacting winning especially being a veteran what does that look like on a day to day basis when you got to maybe have to talk to a young guy that's not happy with his role when you have to express to him what sacrifice looks like because we have another guy Udonis that he was one of those guys as well one of those vets that could help calm the locker room be that calming influence what was that like for you yeah for, for me it was you know really having a pulse a feel for the locker room making sure my, my guys were good but also leading by example. I'm in there putting in the work every day. I'm in there challenging them. I'm not necessarily screaming at people, but I am challenging them. I am mm. talking to them. I am setting the tone. I want to be a good example for them. And everybody in our group from day one, everybody came in working. Everybody's working. Everybody's diving into their work. And that's what we wanted to have here. We wanted to have that consistency. And that's what we were able to do this year. Hey, uh, first and foremost, go Gators. Go Gators. <laughs> go Gators. Hey, man, hey, we, I'm UNC. We not y'all rivals. Okay. I'm just he looks right at you. Yeah, you yeah. act like you went to NC State or something. You know what I'm saying? Go Gators. Go Gators. But, man, we talk about leadership, and we talk about the leadership qualities that you have. But when you have a team full of talented guys, and you have a locker room full of talented guys, and you've been so close so many times, how is it that you keep that group of guys together, keep them confident, but still keep yourself confident? Because you understand that. You only got so many years left. And for me, it was always hard to take care of the locker room, but then I had nobody to talk to when I needed somebody to talk to. No, no, How no. do you manage that? Because that's tough, too, but you got to be the guy that leads these guys, but who helps you and who leads you as you yeah. go through the process? No, no question about it. That's a really good question. So you, you know how it is. For me, is is really trying to help the guys, trying to get them going, trying to keep them positive. And for me, I, I lean a lot on, 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 on prayer. I lean a lot mm -hmm. on my faith mm -hmm. and, uh, and having, you know, literally talking to God just praying mm -hmm. telling him my stuff because you're right a lot of the times we don't have that outlet yes. and for me that gave me a lot of strength a lot of peace um, in, 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 diff in different times because you know our problems you know nobody's going to address yes. them you know and, and for me that that's been the biggest thing. Al, you're 38. You got yourself a ring. You want more of these now? You got a taste? You know? <laughs> yes, he does. Yeah, yes, yeah, he does. Yeah, how many, yeah, how many so more are we it's going addictive. after? So, yeah, that, it's that, addictive. Yeah, no, that, that'd be that'd be that'd be great. Back that'd be great to for back. Sure. And you guys are set up. You guys are set up. This could happen. We could we could be talking to you again next yeah, year. It's not easy. You know how it is. It, yeah, it's, it's really it's not even easy. Tougher. Even to get back to this level, it, it's hard. Playoffs are grueling, but but yeah, that's something we can shoot for. Hey, go get well, well, some apple cider, man. Again, he is ready. Did you have a great time tonight? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I yeah, bet yeah. you did. Can you, All do, that, of Boston can you do that Gator did. Chomp for us one more time? Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Yeah. Yep. <laughs> future Gator. Yeah, future Gator. Right here. Right. We're going to be in Gainesville. Early. Congratulations, yeah. you guys. Thank you. So much fun. And again, I speak for the basketball world when I say everyone is happy for, for Al Horford. For sure. Thank you. Uh, NBA way to go. You get it All done. Class. Thank NBA you. needs you, brother. NBA needs you. Al Horford, NBA man. champion, with us here in Boston. Congratulations, dog. Appreciate it. Have fun, all right? Congrats, buddy.